Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we're gonna be doing a haul video. And I just got these goodies in and I wanted to share with you what all I got. So we're gonna start with the box. I already took all the important stuff off, but I love the sticker that Michelle puts on it. Um, it just, it makes me smile with little Scrappy. And we're gonna open up and dig on in. So I had two bags in this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull both of those out. And what I love about Michelle is that she coordinates the ribbons to what she's shipping out to you, right? So um, I'm going to just move some stuff here so we can get everything pulled out. But in this first um, bag, I have the collection Cedar House, which I'm gonna show you, but that black ribbon will go really well with that collection. Okay, so I'm gonna put that back in the bag. But the first thing we have here is Carrie's class that I bought. This is for making the two flower cards. And I'm just reading real quick. They had um, instructions and information that we would need um, on this side. And on the Crafter's Companion one, um, that had three stencils inside. And then I got two packs of the soft finish cardstock. It does, um, it's good for media, it said. So I wanted to play with it and see what it's like. Of course, I had to get another um, Moonlit Garden. I, I was contemplating going back and forth. Should I? Shouldn't I? And I decided to go ahead and do it. So I'm just showing you all the elements that came in the Happy Scrappy bag. And you get the laser cuts, and then these elements, and then it also has the, um, obviously the collection itself and the solids. So I'm so I'm so glad I got it because out of all the ones they've had this year, this is probably my favorite and most used, and I could definitely see myself using it again because it was just such a pretty collection. Okay, so now this one. This I got because of the black and gold. I like the color scheme of it, and I'm not gonna lie, I love that it has like cassette tapes in it, cameras, butterflies, it's like, it's everything that I love. You know, there's some things in it I'm like, I don't know if I'll use those, but that's true of many collections, right? Um, so I'm showing you, cassette tape, <laughs> all right. And then that's the puffy stickers. And we got the sticker sheet. I love those geo, like the animals and stuff. I don't know if you call them geo shapes or whatever, but I love those. And I love these foam um, titles, like Nope, The Story, Best Friends Authentic, Seriously the Best, Epic. I like Forged, um, Forged in the Fire. That's a nice one. And I like how these letters are gray. And then the paper collection let's get into it so when I cut these open any I don't tear off the sticker I just fold it on the inside of the flap and the back flap so that way it doesn't get onto any of the papers and nothing rips so these are double-sided sheets and I love the color palette of this I like how it's more browns and tans with hints of gold and some of that teal and yellow Look at that brick. I mean, I, I like this paper collection. I think this could be a good one to pull off even to use for a base for um, other colors or other collections to build up on. And you get two of each sheet. And then right there I noticed, <laughs> I was like, are these skulls? I'm like, okay, I wasn't paying attention to that, but okay. But I like the B side, so. And then this is the cut apart so you can see all the different sayings, vibe. Um, I can't read them all from here, nope. I, I, I like those so this is a nice collection I think this will be a good one it's very versatile and I think you can use it for um, obviously masculine themes or even just you know any any anything really all right so the second page the second package I should say I'm so excited about this one let me grab it real quick so again this one has multiple colors because um, well I I'll get to it, but we're going to pull this all out real quick because <laughs> I did a thing. Um, Tisa actually mentioned this, I think, in one of the live crops or the crop that we had. 
nail was cropped at some point um alive or something she had mentioned doing something and so I'm going to share with you what I did but first I got the card kit from Michelle she created this the uh, PDF file everything and so I'm, I'm going to do this you're going to make 12 cards and I may video it so I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep that in mind we got some more rub-ons for Moonlit Garden um, I really enjoyed that I wound up using the whole sheet on a layout so I had to get another one and then this is acetate from doodlebug it's really cute i like the bright colors sometimes doodlebug is just fun so i don't buy the collections all the time but certain things like the acetate i do like to grab here and there and then hello little boy oh i have been waiting for this collection let me just tell you oh i love it it's so cute um, Beatrice actually wind up using this collection back on Sunday, um, when we did the surprise live, <coughs> excuse me, and it is just as cute in person. Also double-sided, look at the clouds, has little hints of gold, and that's what I like about this, like sometimes the gold is very like in your face gold, but this is soothing and it just like. I don't know there's just something about it I wind up getting three of those sheets I think that was a mistake that was probably an accident and then this sheet reminded us of the background that Tisa made um, that was really pretty there and then you got the giraffes and the words like ugh, I just love this collection and I have gotten permission that I can start scrapping baby Angelo so mm -hmm, he's gonna be getting scrapped very soon I also got this TCW uh, 12 by 12 stencil and some more foundations paper. I think it's always important to keep these on hand because this is stuff that you use all the time, especially if you're a mixed media nut, um, you'll want to get those. Now, this one from Elizabeth's Crafts is the paper that Carrie used when she made her flower cards okay and I got the paper collection because I thought it was really pretty and soft and with it being almost springtime you know it just seemed right and as I was looking through I'm like wait are we getting doubles like how how is this paper collection working because a lot of the patterns or the designs are looking similar they might have a different color in the background but they're looking similar so I read the front and it's 12 by 12 sheets and you get 12 of them. So they're um, no repeats, but they sort of are repeated. You'll see if you get this paper, but it's a decent weight. Um, so this is going to be fun to play with. And the next thing is I got the color vibe. Um, this one is, I think it's six by eight. And... On this it has the wood grains and then on the other side the B sides they have the grid sheet or ledger paper and uh, I think I'm gonna have to get another one of these because <laughs> I'm gonna have to have more than one on hand yeah six by eight. Oh, and now I'm showing you the pin so I got this pin the, the Yeti and I decided to get the coffee cup because I had to. I mean, I'm a tea drinker, but I drink them in those cups. So, um, yeah, I had to get that. I don't even collect pens, but I got those. <laughs> All right. So this is the thing I did. So we were talking about how 49 and Market was changing up how they were doing their um, film strips and stuff like that. So I went in and I had to get all the film strips I could I just got duplicates I got two of the black because black you can use on anything so I, I had to get two of those I got one more Christmas the sunburst and then of course another moonlit garden um, and then I got the individuals which I think go with the color swatch um, which I may have these actually now I think about it with the actual collections but I, I had gotten individual ones separately, and these are the ones I brought over from, I have on my side here, and I keep them in case I'm working on a collection and I want to put a film strip. So I'm going to get a container that I can keep all my film strips in um, and keep them next to me or near me. 
Now, these are the heart stamps from Stamper Anonymous. And I like these because there were some were filled in, some were just outlined. And I like that, you know, you can use those as elements on layouts. Now, this I thought would be a good addition to like titles. So you can add like, what do they call them? Subtitles or um, word prompts or, you know, underneath or to go with your, your, your title that you're using. And then I got the foam pad and the stylus um, so that way I could use the same product that Carrie used to create her flowers for the class. Even though I have, I think, something like that already, but I wanted to get it and use what she had. This Pink Fresh stencil is an Argyle, and I think I already have that. And if I do, I'm going to wind up saving that for a giveaway. And then I got these two gems, and I like to get these when she has gem sets like this because these work great to put off to the side next to you in like a basket or something for quick things when you want to add gemstones to your cards or your layouts. Uh, it's really good to have on hand. Now, this next thing that we're getting ready to go into is from Crafters, um, Crafters Companion, and it's a stamp set, okay? Now, on this stamp set, I love the sentiment, or yeah, sentiments. It's all occasion, and it's got happy birthday, you're amazing, celebrate your day, uh, just a note, thinking of you on your retirement. I like that, but the only thing I don't like is the packaging. It's sticky. And it's just not easy to get in and out of. And I don't know how conducive this is going to be for storage, stamp storage. So, um, I don't know. I I'm not sure about this one. Um, I got this card from Gina. But I'm just wanting to show you how big this stamp is. Um, you could use this on like a slimline card. But you can still use it on a regular uh, A2 size card. And then look, you can go from the top, the bottom, in the middle, diagonally, and then just put your sentiment right across the middle. So there's a lot of things you can do with this particular stamp. And then I'm going to move this over here, and then let's talk about these. Oh, all these Elizabeth Crafts, I can't wait. Okay, so this first one, I wasn't feeling it at first. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't going to get this die set until Michelle showed us this stamp set and then I was like uh that's why we have the die set so in the stamp set you can stamp the sentiments in the squares and then use the dies to cut them out which would be a great element to put on like um your layouts or your cards and then these are all the flower dies there's four sets this is wildflower one and you get the three main flowers, the small one, and then all the leaves and the stem. And then this one is actually Wildflower 3. I had them not in order, but um, I'm going to show you the order in a second. Same thing, all the stems and the flowers. This one is Wildflower 2. And I love how they have like all the little ones, the itty bitties, are on the square die. I think that makes it so much easier so you don't have to, you know, try and keep track of something super tiny. And then this one, you get the, like, four flowers, some insides. And then what I like about this one is though it doesn't have the long stems, you could use any of the other stems with this flower. And then this is the stamp set for inside the center. So I'm going to hold up the centers of this one. and sh Like, I think it's that center, little small and you can see it really good on there because they did it in orange on the yellow. So you can see the dots. And then the stripes, if you look real close at the centers of the purple, you can see those lines. And I think that's how they created that with the centers. So thank you guys so much for joining me today with my little haul video. Um, definitely keep an eye out. I'm working on a few things to get some series back going and I've got new product in. So hopefully this will be the time I can play with some things and I will see you guys with our next video and I hope you have a great weekend.